It's week 82 of Zerg, so we're going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, and give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 82 of Zerg, but before we get into the video, I will be announcing the winner of the Destiny 2 Forsaken April 2019 giveaway in the next video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Now, Zer is located on, I'm sorry, <laughs> on Titan, and he is in the rig. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up, dude? It's time for a little bit of a fiesta. So like always, we're gonna start the left-hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Darcy, which is an exotic sniper rifle. Then we have the Winner's Guile for the Warlock, the Gweeson Vest for the Hunter, as well as the uh, Antius Wards for the Titan. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with the Darcy. Treasure perk on this is Personal Assistant, which shows critical information in scope. Then we have Extended Barrel, Extended Mag, Target Acquired, which when Personal Assistant is active, this weapon has better target acquisition and deals significantly more precision damage. And then we also have short action stock. And there's actually two ornaments for it. First one is cleans up good, or at least these are two ornaments that I have for it. And then mind of its own. I wonder why the pictures of the ornaments are different sizes. It's pretty interesting. Anyways, so the Darcy is an okay exotic. I probably wouldn't use it that much in PvE, but it is pretty decent in PvP, but I'm not sure if you want to waste your exotic slot for the Darcy versus a different exotic. So with that said, this is definitely going to get a 2.5 to maybe even a tier 3 in PvP, but I probably might even just give it a tier 3 in PvE. Next exotic is the Winner's Guile. The treasure perk on this is Warlord Sigil, which melee kills increase melee damage. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. And Dead of Winter is actually the ornament for this, but I'm on my Hunter, so I can't really see it. So, if you guys do not have the Winner's Guile, definitely go ahead and uh, grab it. It's definitely good in PvP and PvE, especially when you get that first melee kill and then getting another one after and then keep going, getting melee kills, just damaging opponents and finishing them off with a melee. Just think of it like shotgun melee, pretty much. Um, and it works like perfect. Now, you don't have to use a shotgun, but you can damage them with any weapon, but following it up with the melee definitely helps out a lot. So in PvP, I'm definitely gonna give this a uh, tier two and actually a tier two in PVE as well. Next exotic is the Gweeson Vest for the Hunter. Intrended perk on this is Roven Assassin, which vanish after Spectral Blades kills for more super energy. Then we have Unflinching Bow Aim, Fusion Rifle, I'm sorry, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Kinetic Aim, Scout Rifle Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And I actually just got this last week out of a drop, and I love it. So if you are running Spectral Blades on your Hunter, definitely go ahead and grab it. It's, it's definitely worth it. Definitely <laughs> keeps your super going. And yeah, Tier 2 and PvE, but I am actually going to give this a Tier 1.5 in PvP. Because this thing is amazing. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Antius Wards for the wonderful Titan. Treasure perk on this is Reflect Events, which sliding reflex projectiles and grants super energy. Then we have Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Outreach, Scout Rifle Scavenger, and then last but not least, uh, Special Ammo Finder. This is an okay exotic. Um, a lot of people are using word cliff coil and as good as it is 
it won't entirely um, reflect all of the word cliff uh, coil um, missiles if you do not time it properly like you can get messed up with this using your word cliff against this um, if the person has their timing on point if they don't well then they will just die but uh, besides that I don't really see a, a, a reason to use these it's a cool gimmick you know but I don't feel like this is that good of an exotic and I feel like there are better ones out there so with that said I'm probably gonna give it a tier 3 in PvP but probably even a tier 4 or 4.5 in PvE next we have your consumables which is your five of swords which gives you your nightfall strike card and then we have uh, this wonderful uh, invitation to the nine as you can tell I haven't done anything <laughs> and then last but not least we have your faded engram which still does not give us any forsaken exotics yay and that my friends brings us to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video feel free to watch these videos as well you never know you just might like them and if you do leave a like share them and then come back for more because you know you want to thank you guys for watching and remember less guns doesn't mean less crime and i will see you guys next time